Hey, so uh, we are joined by Ethan Quinn, 756 Love, winner on a tough opponent, Max Kasnikowski yeah. of Poland. Um, I saw your intensity go up from like the sixth game on to take that first set. Tell me what you did today. Yeah, I just was really focusing on trying to, to beat him up physically. Um, I saw after a few long points, he was uh, walking a little slower, um, almost looked like he was a little bit tired. Um, so that kind of fired me up kind of in my head. I told myself to, to keep it physical, um, keep hitting the ball big and, and moving aggressively and with intent. Um, and so I was able to dictate points and then continue continuously make him run. Um, and when that happened, it just made it so I could keep breaking him down slowly over time. And your experience on court has led you to be able to close out matches like this, don't you think? Absolutely, yeah. To be able to get that first set and break um, after holding six times is, a, is really nice. And then to be able to close out the second set, um, both serving it out or being able to serve it 4-0 and then also to, to start the second set was great for me. Right. And um, so you are a uh, immediate former semifinalist at this event. Um, you know, you've got uh, three matches to go in three days. You know these guys. You know this competition. Uh, what do you? How, how are you feeling physically going forward? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna make sure I, I do everything that I can. I have a nice rest of my day um, to be able to see the physio, relax, um, recover, hydrate. Um, knowing that there's three matches next three days is really important for me to kind of just lay low, the rest of the day. Even though there's a lot of time to go and do stuff, it's probably smarter for me to just relax and recover and get ready for next, ready tomorrow. Absolutely. And finally, you know, this is a campaign. The, the Challenger Fall Challenger Tour, the Summer Swing, they're all campaigns. And of course, we have a big election campaign going up in America right now. I don't want to know who you're voting for. We don't do that because social media no, no. is a nightmare these days. Yeah, absolutely. But um, have you seen anything as you tour the country, almost like some of these candidates do? I mean, it, it, anything different in an election year when you're touring all over the country? Um, I haven't seen anything too different, to be honest with you. I mean, college campuses, a lot of these tournaments are... At. So I'll probably this week and next week see a lot, um, maybe poll sites, a lot of people on campus, maybe that aren't campus students. So hopefully it'll draw some more fans out as well. Well, good luck in your campaign here in Charlottesville. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate you. it. Thank you.